pot roasted pheasant from our farm and endive. Pheasant has a lot more flavor than turkey does, so it's one of the great eating birds in our region. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone should try it. It's readily available. Um, you can find it in most um, specialty butchers. A and fresh pheasants. Fresh, sometimes they're frozen, but frozen's fine. Let it defrost in your refrigerator for three days, mm -hmm. and then voila. Let's start with the marinade. When I cook and make a marinade, I kind of play around with what I have at hand. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be exactly this. It's, this just happens to be in my pantry. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, this is going to be neat in, to enrich the flavor of the, the pheasant. We'll take the pheasant mm -hmm. and we'll roll it in the marinade nice, like so. I'll put this in a cool place or the refrigerator and every couple hours I'll just turn it. What we'll do next is we'll stuff the cavity with some wonderful fall items to give it aromatics from the inside. And this is the Cortland apples. So I mix that with the citrus and I have little shallots from Apple Street Farm, a little bit of pepper, and that's really it. And then we'll take the pheasant, give it another quick wash in the lovely marinade with the butternut squash oil. Nicely stuffed mm -hmm. right in there. You don't really actually have to stuff it. Okay. Or you can make a traditional um, uh, stuffing uh, with uh, bread and mm -hmm. sage and onions and celery and maybe mushrooms and chestnuts. Mm -hmm. And you could actually put that in your pheasant also mm -hmm. for a nice Thanksgiving dish. The, the purpose of trussing is to uh, pull the bird in tight so it cooks evenly and also holds in its juices. See how it holds nice and tight? I do see that. I would need a little practice. Yes. Uh, cutting up the endive. Mm -hmm. And this will go into the pot, on the base of the pot, just quarters. Okay. So we're ready to go to cook on the stove. A little bit of my olive oil in there. So it's already tempered. Here we go. Here we go. Woohoo! Wow. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna fry this up for a minute. It's very important in my cooking to, to really have things seared up and uh, for the color and the flavor. So look at that, beautiful. So look at that, isn't yeah. that great? I already have nice color. Yeah. So we're gonna sear that all off. I'm going to add some more shallots. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough shallots with we this dish. We love shallots, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add the shallots in the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take our compound butter. That amazing butter. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put a little bit on the bottom while the shallots are frying up. We've got some nice sage leaves that I held back because I think they're gonna fry up nicely with the pheasant and oh. the endive and the shallots. Put that in there. And now we're gonna put the endive in, which has a lot of water weight in it. So that's gonna keep everything from burning. Exactly. We have a little bit of herb mix left over. And this I'm just is gonna, smelling so amazing. I'm just gonna add some more of this herb mm -hmm. in. That was in the marinade and in right. the butter, I think. And talk about the marinade. Let's put a little of this in. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah, let's utilize that. That's going to be great. Mm. Make the sauce and then a little pepper. Oh, and that's that just going to melt right over the top. And all those ingredients in that butter. Right, and just a little bit more wine. Just white wine? Just white I have wine. I smell this again because oh, that is incredible. Okay, and then we'll put the cover on. Never take the lid off. You want to keep why. all, all that steam of all the different flavors that are going on penetrating into that fennet pheasant and perfuming it. Let's put it in the oven. Now you said 350. Is that what you said? 350, and let it sit on the counter for maybe another 30 minutes okay. before you take the lid off. So let's take a peek. Okay. Here it is. Oh, steamy! Oh, Look at beautiful. that bird. Let's put this juice. Beautiful juice just over the pheasant. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. The natural juices from the pheasant and the endive. Mm -hmm. And then let's put it right around the bird, like so. This is great. This is a wonderful autumn meal. Yeah. Or holiday and, meal. And let's put these beautiful vegetables mm -hmm. right around also. Look how pretty that is. Mm. So that's, that's our dish. And then the next thing I would do is just take the truss, the truss off, um, take my knife, and just cut the string off. 
and pull it right off. Easier coming off. Mm -hmm. There we have that it. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm.